gonna do some kind of a your introduction or sorts, you know. I'd been riding a lot of performance surfboards maybe two years ago and every now and again jumping on a, a twin fin and you know you kind of get a lot of great stuff from both you know you get the kind of looseness and speed out of a twin fin and you know the kind of performance that you get out of a regular shortboard and I guess we're trying to bridge that gap a little bit and create something that kind of had the best of both worlds which I kind of feel like it does have you know, not have to always have like a twin fin and a shortboard, you know, why not just have a twin fin and, and be psyched on that. I was just so stoked and I, I you know, I love, you know, if a surfboard goes well, you know, I'm not going to, you know, argue with it or like try and change anything, you know, I just enjoy it. But I think that's where Brit's magic comes in because how passionate he is about surfboards and it's always exciting to see what he creates after you have a conversation with him about what you're looking for, what you need and he always creates something special out of that. Every time I got a new version I was so excited because it you know, just worked even better and that blend between the you know, regular shortboard and a twin fin, you know, I feel like this board has kind of characteristics from both. It's got the you know, looseness and fun feeling of a twin fin, but it has a lot of drive, like, you know, the way a shortboard is, you feel like you have a lot more control and you can really push hard through the turns because it holds really nicely. When you engage that sort of bottom half of the board, it really just accelerates and 
you know, has that magic feeling. I think people can expect a lot of creativity in their surfing, a lot of flow, but also a lot of speed and, and just like a really enjoyable feeling under your feet. It's pretty cool because it's super versatile. I mean, I ride three inches shorter than my shortboard, 5'8", and it's about 31 and a half liters, which is about, you know, two liters more than my regular performance board. And, you know, the shorter one has this really fun, super smooth outline. You know, it works really well on the barrel. Through the tail, it's got this really nice V that kind of accelerate speed really nicely and it just fits in the in the pocket really well the longer one you know when you're surfing waves that are really good waves or slightly bigger you know that outlines extended a little bit more you can really draw these really fun long lines and the funny thing is you can also ride the longer ones in smaller waves too because you know you have a little bit more board but from my side of things, I feel like you can't really go wrong with the sizing. One thing to always remember is that it's always just nice to have the foam because when I stand on it, it feels great and you can still put on rail and you can still maneuver it the way you want. So I think if I could give any advice, I think just, you know, just, you know, make sure you got some good volume under your feet. Yeah.